This is CNN IBS. On 21st May 1991, Rajiv Gandhi was assassinated by a suicide bomber from the LTT's Black Tiger Suicide Unit. And Prabhakaran is still wanted in India for Rajiv Gandhi's assassination. But the fact is that the Tamil Tigers, including Prabhakaran, were trained by the Indian Army. This rare photograph shows LTT gorillas training at Kalatur, Salem in Tamil Nadu in 1984-85. Senior LTT leaders told CNN-IBN that they were recruited by India's intelligence wing, RAW, and trained by the Indian Army. Well, in 84, in India. In 84? Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh. Senior members of the LTT also were training in uh, Uttar Pradesh, UP training. UP uh, training. Yeah, I was in Madras. You were in Madras. Yeah. So, can you reflect upon your days there? Uh, how did you spend your days and did you like your stay there? Uh, those days are very unforgettable days. Uh, we had a lot of friends there uh, in uh, every level, diplomatic, uh, political and uh, bureaucratic level. This rare book with CNN and IBN, written by LTT ideologue Anton Balasingham, describes how it all started. In October 1983, Prabhakaran arrived in India. He stayed at a secret location in Pondicherry. Raw offered to train 200 LTT cadres in Dehradun. Tamil Kavi, a well-known voice on LTT's radio station, is also candid about the Indian connection. India. The Indian Army gave us training during the period of Mrs. Indira Gandhi. She and M.G. Ramachandran extended full support to us and helped our organization's growth. The Indian peacekeeping force was welcomed by Tamils in Sri Lanka, but years later, only memories of brutality remain. Those days we were young, below 15, but the actions performed by the IPKF are still a tragic memory for us. This lady who fled Jaffna to escape the IPKF also has some terrible memories. I have been a witness to a brutal rape of a girl called Rani. We were helpless and could not protect her. And after the IPKF people left, we rushed her to a nearby hospital. Pastor Emmanuel, a close associate of Prabhakran, ran the Jaffna seminary during the IPKF intervention. He recalls when his students were marched off to an IPKF camp. They pumped water into those students, stripped them naked, and also or electrocuted or punished them. They, I could hear the cries of the seminarians from outside. The pastor feels it was these atrocities that led to Rajiv Gandhi's assassination. I do not justify the killing of Rajiv Gandhi, but you can see how it started building up from the people's point of view. For many Sri Lankan Tamils, India's policies at the time has remained a puzzle. Sri Lankan Sinhalese have recent relationship was something new for their own advantage. We have been, whether you kick us or anything, we call Mother India. <laughs> it's in our blood. It's in our blood. <laughs> the LTT and India share a bloody past. As the situation in Sri Lanka worsens, it remains to be seen if the lessons of the past have been learned. V.K. Shashi Kumar, CNN-IBN.